Okay, this is the back of the system. Very simplistic as far as hookup. You have the one main power plug. Goes out to your outlet. You have one power plug for your wireless mics. You just pull that out, plug it right into the back of it. You have your main video cable. It's already plugged up. You just take that and put it in your TV. Your speaker cables, red to red. Just plug it right in. Same thing with your speaker. Red to red. And you're good on that side as far as hooking up the system. Come around to the front. Now as far as operating the system, power this up first. Powers up the system. Power up the amplifier last. You'll notice that the voltage meter typically stays between 112 and 124. That just shows what type of electricity is being run. If it's dark and you need to illuminate the front to see things, you just turn this on and you have the that. But you always want to make sure you turn it off when you're not using it. It has the dimmer right here. Now as far as playing music, you just pop in your disc. It will show that it's closed, disc loading, and then once the disc is up and running, just choose a song. You have your master volume, which you can easily turn up, and then come in with the music. delay which I already set. MPX that's really not much unless you have vocals in there and you're trying to mess around with it but for the most part it's fine. Leave your balance right there. It's set up, it's plugged in the back on DVD. If you ever need to hook up any other equipment like you could hook up a iPod cable to this or a laptop cable and press this and switch over. It has a built-in key controller. See how it goes up. amount of echo you put in so this is pretty much set right here typically I keep it right here and bring up the volume right here but if you have a louder crowd that's when you start increasing right here but you really don't want to go further than that now when you want to play the drive let's go ahead and take this out You got your little thumb drive, just go to the back of the system. It's going to show no disc on the monitor. Just plug it in. And then you'll see on the screen. It will pop up with a box. All you do is you take your remote, point it at the, uh, the player. Scroll down to that, that's where your music's at. Your drive is just, um, that's the uh, thumb drive's internal information that came from the manufacturer, so it's nothing to worry about. So you just click in there, it shows the amount of songs. This is just an example of when you copy and paste your music to the drive, that's what it'll look like. Just press a song, you're good to go. Now if you want to program songs, there's a repeat button right here. Look at the screen now. See how it continue? That means you can program. So you just start programming numbers like this. Six, five, program. Three, two, program. Now look at the screen as I do that. Seven, four, program. It puts it all down here. You can do up to 10 of them. It will automatically go to the next song. If for any reason the person's not uh, available, just press stop and it will go to the next one. Now let's say you want to stop and and put a disc in. It's in the drive mode right now. You just open it up. Put in a disc. Most often it should jump to it, but in case it doesn't, there's a D slash U button on the remote. 
that allows you to switch it. So we'll go ahead and go over that in a second. You see, it actually came up and showed you that there's a CD. So I want to press song three, enter. Now I'm done with that song. I want to go back to the drive, press the D slash U, and see what comes up on the screen. Highlight USB device, press enter. It goes right back to the other thing, and you go right back in, get your song, and you're good to go. Now, as far as the microphones, they just typically, they'll charge, they'll sit on here. You'll notice that it's like this no matter what recharge rules you get. See how that's showing red, but it's probably already actually charged. You know, if you mess with these things, they'll move around. As long as you get some sort of light, it's charging. Check, check, one, two. Now, as far as putting in the echo, check, one, two. You can hear the repeat and delay coming in. Check one, two. You can go flat if you just want to talk. And then go ahead and start putting your echo in. Check one, two. Check one, two. You'll notice that you're getting your volume right here. And then if someone wants to sing, you got both of them going. I don't recommend standing in front of the speakers even though it's not squealing right now. As far as the volumes on this, I typically keep them right around 10 o'clock to 1 o'clock, and you adjust your microphone volume from here. Check one, two, there's nothing. So you have both wireless running off of one channel, and then you can use a backup corded mic and just plug it right in here, and you're good to go. And that's pretty much it. When you're done, you always want to make sure that you unplug your drive. So the drive is unplugged. Make sure your discs are out of the player. And then powering down. Power down your amp. Power down that. You're all powered down. Just always remember, when you power this up and it says no disk on the screen, that's when you plug this in. You have to plug it in last. If for any reason you forget and this thing's still plugged in, you might see it power up, but it won't do anything. It'll just be a black screen that says initializing. Just make sure you know that this isn't in there in, in the beginning and just put it in there. I would tell you to buy another one of these, like a smaller one, and go ahead and put a... Uh, make a backup copy and that's pretty much it